I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. So I haven't been entirely truthful with you. When people used to ask who I mained, of course I would say Banjo and Kazooie, but I would also say that I secondary characters like Corrin and Terry and Cloud and stuff like that. But truth be told, I don't really know how to play any of these characters. I've been kind of getting back into the swing of testing out Terry, at least when I play offline matches in my spare time, and so I thought maybe it'd be a fun time for a video series if I were to try to get better at Terry within the span of a month. Now today is Sunday, July 11th, 2021, so this will be the very first day that I'm going to be doing this experiment, and we'll see exactly where it leads us in a month's time. So to get things kicked off, I thought it would probably be the best idea just to show you where I'm currently at with Terry so we can compare sometime later on in this series. Yeah, that GSP is not looking so great, is it? <laughs> This is one cursed looking toad if I do say so myself, <laughs> oh my goodness. So in terms of playing Terry, I do know like all of his different uh, command inputs and I've been able to practice this pretty well. I mean obviously there's a lot of like, you know, moves cancelling and normal cancelling and stuff like that into your special inputs. I really gotta get better at that. Oh wow, okay, got the nice strong back kick. And he's not getting back there, sweet. Okay, so apparently my Terry is not half bad. Oh, can we get the- no, we can't get the punish, okay. He's just gonna punish us back. Well, now we have the go meter. He has no idea how much trouble he's in now. Ooh, okay, nice. Got a nice little power geyser. Oh, okay, we're still hanging in there. This dude refuses to edge guard. That's probably not the best of ideas. Ooh, jeez. I don't even think I meant to input that, but I will definitely take the reverse uh, power geyser. Okay. And we three-stock this guy. Do I even really need this series after all? <laughs> yes. Alright, so this wolf is just going to do the standard wolf thing. He's just going to try to buster us at the very beginning. But we got the buster wolf on our hands. Oh, that's a pretty nice SD for us. Okay, we'll take it. I don't think I'm winning these games more off of my skill, but more just on the fact that my opponents seem to not know what they're doing half the time. Ooh, yikes, okay. But we have go meter. You don't know what kind of a threat you're up against, Wolf. Uh, okay. All right, we're still a stock ahead. We're nearly a hundred points of damage ahead of him. I think we can probably pull this through. Oh, nice. Okay. You know, before I used to think that aerial power wave wasn't really all that good of a move, but it's actually pretty good helping you mix up. Like it stalls you in the air and stuff like that. It comes out quite a bit ahead of you, so it's kind of like a weird disjoint. I'm definitely gonna try to make more use of it as we go along. Oh, nice. Okay. Got a strong back air, and he's done for. Sweet. All right, apparently I'm just a Terry master at this point. We slaughter low GSP. All right, we're in the presence of Memester the Hero. This might not go so great for us. Luckily, we've only got like one projectile, so I don't really think that this bounce is gonna be all too good for him. Oh, psyched him out, psyched him out. Ooh. All right, that was a pretty nice auto-canceled combo. Not so good. Ooh, okay, copped him on the end there. All right, let's get the timing on it. Let's get the timing on it. Oh, damn it, are you kidding me? We're at the magical 69%, nothing can screw me up. Excuse me? All right, this character needs to be banned. Okay, so this is basically Terry where I start out at the beginning of this month, and uh, we'll just have to see where it goes from here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this video has turned into a bit of a disaster, hasn't it? <laughs> but I don't want to leave you guys with nothing, so I'll give you a little bit of an update of what happened so far. So on day two, I decided to play three games again. The first one was against a Pichu player, which unfortunately I didn't realize I wasn't recording. But I think it went fairly well. I mean, he was a pretty annoying Pichu. He kind of just spammed his usual, like, back airs and thunder jolts and all that crap. Okay? But we did end up coming up on top, so... Thank God for that. So the second game I played on day two was against a Fox player, and honestly, I was getting outplayed for the majority of this match. I'm gonna be completely honest. Even though I was very close behind him most of the game, it just felt like I was always at a slight disadvantage. But come to the end of the game, we're both at over 100%, and we have a little smash attack battle on our shields, and somehow I end up being victorious. And my last match that I played was up against a Rosalina and Luma player. Now, I don't really play a whole lot of Rosalinas. I don't know if there's just none in my area or I just never see them online because they're very unpopular. 
but I decided to give it a try, and honestly, I was not prepared for what they had in store. This was the first actual intelligent Rosa player who actually used the Luma spaced out and tried to do combos from multiple angles, and I gotta say, it was a pretty cool thing to watch. Annoying to play against, let's, let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> Though things appeared to be pretty close, I ended up sneaking out another win at the end, so overall I had about three wins that night. Now unfortunately I don't know where I started or ended on the GSP that day because I actually had to save some of the replay data because I realized I forgot recording in the middle of the session, but either way, let's just move on to the next day. So starting off on day 3, I had a total of 2,976,678 GSP, and I decided once again just to play 3 games online to see how I would fare up against them. So the first match I played was against a King K Rule player who had Final Smash Meter turned on and it was also a 6 minute match for some reason? Don't know what that's all about, but somehow it ended up being in our favor. We both got our Final Smash Meter twice and while the K Rule missed both of his Final Smashes, I was able to get a pretty flashy final kill. Overall, I was ahead for most of the match, and being an ex-K World player myself, I knew quite a lot of the tricks that I was going to see. My second match was up against a fellow Canadian named Odd Canuck who was playing Bowser, and honestly this match was a lot closer. And by a lot I mean at least it wasn't a complete landslide. Casually, I play quite a lot of the heavy characters in my own spare time, so I kind of know what a lot of these characters have going on under their sleeves, so I was able to pretty much read most of Bowser's movements throughout the whole match. He got me up to my go meter in the last stock, and I managed to finish off with a pretty sweet power geyser kill. And my last match of the night was up against a Kazuya player. Now, I haven't really played a whole lot of Kazuya ever since he came out. I basically recorded one video for it, and I've played him like a handful of times in my spare time. Admittedly, I didn't really feel like I earned the victory here. I mean, he kind of SD'd twice, but GSP is GSP at the end of the day, so we'll take it. So by the end of day 3, I end up having 3,469,449 GSP. And I guess that leads us up to... Today! So today is Wednesday, July 14th, 2021, which means it is day 4 of the Terry Trials. And today, I thought I would spice things up a little bit by actually checking out a combo guide to see if there was anything I was missing. So the guide that I ended up using today was a video called Terry's True B&B Combos, and it was by a small YouTuber named Yano. Honestly, he's another small YouTuber and I would really recommend checking him out. He goes into detail about what percentages these work at when he starts to feel like they're falling out of the combo, and I think it was a really great and in-depth video to check out. So my goal was to try to use some of the combos that I had never used or had never heard of today, and the main one that I wanted to try to accomplish was to do a forward tilt into Buster Wolf. So starting off today, I had 3,470,083 GSP, and we'll just have to see where it goes as we get along with the video. I don't know why I decided to say it that way, that's so weird. So the first match I played today was against a Marth player, and I really feel like he was having trouble punishing me. I don't know, it didn't seem like he was going off stage all that much for edge guards. he was trying to do a lot of tilt attacks on the ledge thinking that he would try to hit me, but I managed to outmaneuver him quite a lot. For a character that relies so much on spacing, it just felt like he never really wanted to approach me until it was too late. Unfortunately, the final stock was taken by a bit of a flaccid SD, but a win is still a win, so we'll take it here. My next match was up against a Lucas player, and can I just say, if this guy Dr. Bob is an actual doctor, I never want to visit your office ever, my dude. <laughs> I don't play against a whole lot of Lucas players, so this was kind of an odd experience for me, but honestly, I don't think he was playing Lucas to his full potential. He hit me one time in the match with PK Freeze, and it just seemed like for the entire rest of the match, that's all he ever tried to do to me. I took his second stock with a pretty nice roll read, and I managed to finish the match off with a nice power geyser of the face, so hopefully, he'll have a hard time saying PK Freeze in the future. And the last match of the day was against a pair of Ice Climbers. Now, honestly, I don't really play a whole lot of Ice Climbers players, and yeah, I'm probably starting to sound like a bit of a broken record here, but there were quite a lot of weird characters being played today. I noticed really early on in the match that he was always kind of going off stage trying to fish and save Nana, so I was able to punish him a couple of times. Though I gotta say, the end of the match was actually pretty funny. <laughs> so I used a Power Geyser straight up against both of the Ice Climbers, and while it broke Nana's shield, the Popo player ended up flying off of the stage. And so I actually managed to time it really perfectly, where as soon as he tried to use his upbeat to recover, I was able to smack Nana into some hit stun, and he lost his recovery. So on the end of day 4, we ended off with 4,045,901 GSP. We're slowly climbing the rankings, and it's honestly only midweek of our first week. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, that's what. So today is day 5, July 15th, 2021, and honestly, I had a lot of confidence coming into today. But as the GSP starts to climb up, I'm starting to get a little more frightened of the opponents we're going to be facing, especially once we get closer to Elite Smash. So I went online, I played 3 matches today, and my goal was basically just to try to do some more of those combos that I learned yesterday, and if I'm being quite honest with you, that all went way out the window. <laughs> 
I have this really bad habit when I play Smash of knowing what a character's combos are, but then when it comes to actually playing in the moment, being terrified of messing the combo up and then just not doing it at all. Which is why I basically resort to all of my fundamentals rather than any kind of memorization of combos or anything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I'm making a combo series. So we played up against the Captain Falcon first, and much like Fox, I really have a difficult time playing against Captain Falcon. I think they just move a lot faster than me typically, and I seem to get very overwhelmed very quickly. But he did get pretty cocky at some points, like he tried to do an offstage Falcon Punch and just barely managed to recover from it. I was lucky that he SD'd on the second stock, otherwise I don't think I really would have won that game. But I did end up JV2ing him, so you know what? That counts, man. I would have won it 100%, let's be real here. The second match of the day was up against a Kazuya player, and much like every other Kazuya player that I've played so far, he started the match immediately with a laser, so I punished his ass for it. Of course, it doesn't really help that once I got to high percents, he had a command grab that would literally just kill me at like 80%, so I had a lot to be worried about. There was only a single stock where I actually managed to take advantage of the go meter, and luckily I managed to get a kill using it. And my last match was up against Blue Kirby. Now, if anybody knows the story of Blue Kirby, He's nigh unbeatable. I hope you guys watch my videos on Papa One's channel if <laughs> you want to get that inside joke. And honestly, for most of the match, it felt like he was kind of just little kidding, but for whatever reason, my brain just wasn't really wrapping around what he was trying to do. I got hit by way too many down Bs, way too many up Bs, and honestly, it just felt like I was playing a really awful game. But luckily, my last stock was used to its absolute most advantage, and I managed to take him out in a pretty sweet fashion. So after five days and playing 15 matches online, and somehow I think winning all of them up to this point, I'm feeling pretty good about my Terry, but obviously I'm nowhere close to mastering the character. I guess we'll just have to see where the rest of the week leads us. On my sixth day, I decided to try to look at some of the frame data just to see what I could be doing to punish out of shield. And as it turns out, Terry's quickest attack out of shield is actually his neutral air. So with that information in mind, I tried to bring that into my next three matches online, and I'm gonna be honest guys, I completely forgot about it during the matches. <laughs> So I started off with 4,831,107 GSP at the beginning of the day, and let's just see how high we can get it. Match 1 was honestly nothing all that remarkable, I played against another Lucas player, and for the entirety of the first stock, the match was just covered in lag. I managed to take the first stock, and it seemed like everything was going okay after that. But then Lucas kinda had a comeback. Did I mention this was a 2 stock 6 minute match? Cause I don't think I have yet, and honestly, what the hell are you doing playing the game this way? But in the best twist of irony, he ended up SD because he couldn't use his PK Thunder, meaning that I took the first W of the day. My second match was up against the Peach player, and honestly, this is the least fun I've ever had playing Super Smash Bros. Like, I was actively furious during this match. So while this was a 3 stock 7 minute match, I was playing it on Wily's Castle with hazards on. That means that every once in a while the yellow devil would just drop down and try to shoot us up and it seemed like the peach was just trying to camp me out. I can't tell you how many times during the match the peach would actually just resort to going behind the yellow devil to try to kill it and then try to blow me up using the explosion that came after it. Of course it never actually worked because I don't think I took a single point of damage from any of the explosions. I finally took the last stock at 1 minute and 2 seconds left on the clock which means oh my god I sat and suffered through this for nearly 6 freaking minutes. But I did win the match so I guess it's time to move on. The last match I played of the day was against a Marth player, and this was actually a really rough battle for me. He took my first two stocks pretty quickly, and I feel like no matter what I was doing, I was never really able to get in. He just outspaced me in every possible way. I guess the fact that the sword is like a disjointed hitbox is not really great for Terry. There's not really much options that I have for projectiles other than Power Wave, which they can just jump over. And while I did manage to take his stock at the end, unfortunately this was the first loss of the entire run. And now it's time to check my progress throughout the week, because we're now approaching... Day 7. So today is Saturday, July 17th, 2021, which means it's the end of the very first week of learning how to play Terry. I figured that once again, just like the first part, I would try to do my best to sort of live commentate just so you can actually see my gameplay while we're going on instead of just a highlight reel. So having a look at my GSP, I'm starting off with 5,077,384 today. Let's see if that number goes any higher, and you know, hopefully we're going to start climbing up from here. Alright, so we're already starting off in a not so great situation having to play against a top tier. Oh man, the one other thing that I feel like I've been learning a lot this week is that Burning Knuckle is so unsafe on shield. Like, if I end up missing the attack, there's almost like a full on second where they can just punish me. Alright, so far, game is still pretty even. I've got a little bit of a, a percentage advantage. Hopefully we turn that into a stock soon, unless Paolo decides to, you know, destroy us here. You know, I still want to absolutely destroy somebody using the down air, because honestly, I love spiking people in this game, but Terry's spike is just so hard to pull off. 
Oh, Buster Wolf. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Nice little combo. Easy 30%. She hasn't really been going off stage for me too much, and I think that's actually been a good thing because, man, Terry can sometimes really suck off stage. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. We got a huge lead on this Palu, so unless I completely blow it, I think we're looking really good here. You know, also during this week, I've really come to appreciate uh, Terry's recovery, his up B. Which, honestly, I never really used all that much, but Rising Tackle is really good. Like, even as an offensive option, it's really great. Oh, no, 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 this is gonna kill us. Yikes. Oh, yes, okay. Whew. That's a solid game one right there. All right, so Donkey Kong is either gonna mess me up or he's gonna be like the easiest combo food. Yeah, he's probably gonna mess me up because I'm stupid. Oh no, really? He spiked me? Bro. No way, he's making it. Oh damn it, he made it back. But he's dead now, okay. We have a little bit of catching up to do, but so far I don't really feel like our chances are gone in this match. Oh yes, okay, we scared him off, nice. Okay, there we go. We're getting a little bit of a comeback here. Okay, we just need a little space, but... Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? All right, so I know Pokemon Trader can be kind of annoying and tricky, so hopefully we don't run into too much of that. I feel like people always expect you to just recover right away online, so I've been able to punish a lot of people by just, you know, stalling myself out in the air long enough. I played right into that, didn't I? How did I not snap to the ledge? Are you joking me? Yeah, see, like, I don't think anybody actually expects me to stay in the air all that long. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy crap, that was crazy. I didn't even expect that parry to come out. So. <laughs> oh, damn it, okay. I'm honestly surprised he switched over to Squirtle. Ooh, all right. Take that, you annoying freaking turtle. All right, and so after our three matches, we're now at 5,328,487 GSP, which means, yes, we went up slightly, but unfortunately our growth was slightly hampered by that stupid Donkey Kong match. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, the first week of Terry for you. Do I think I've improved so far? Maybe marginally, but not really enough where I can tell. Yeah, sure, I did have a pretty good win streak, but that was against low GSP players and people that are basically just picking the game up now. Hopefully as we get into next week, I can do a little more research, find out some more combos, and I can truly learn how to master this character. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching the video. If you enjoyed and you want to see more parts of the series, be sure to click the like button, make sure to subscribe below so you're always notified when I upload new videos and uh, leave a comment telling me how epic my Buster Wolf is. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you for checking the video out, and until next time, take care. Yeah, that definitely needs a cut.